بتصب بتصب مثلا من الاهل ساعتها لان اذا صار في طوارئ ومسكنا كوش معين لسه لا لا اذا حكت لما كلها احنا مش اثنين لما يكونوا بالسجن كل انا مش بتذكر حلو بس بنعطيك رقم صح وساعتها انت بعدك مع نادي الاسير على اتصال حد بيغيروه مش مشكله بس لازم خلال واحنا بس احنا لو زرناه كفايه مرات ما كانش ضاع هذا الشيء منه I was a major in the Israeli reserve uh, forces and I met many of these young soldiers. It's not wartime anymore. It's your environment. And if it's your environment, you need to change it if you want to bring peace with the other side. But, so you saw it in the television, her eyes are blurred. Because the IDF said, well, she is a bad apple, but she's not. Bad apple. She's bad apple, but all the the box are bad apples. Uh, the problem is that uh, they can condemn her, but they need to work and educate the soldiers that Palestinians are civilians with human rights, and they should treat them as human beings, not as a background for those. <laughs> The IDF strongly condemns these disgraceful photos. They in no way reflect the spirit of the IDF, our ethical standard to which we all aspire. These ethical standards guide us from the time we are drafted in basic training up through every single commander course. They're posted on every single office wall. Uh, these are our guidelines. That is IDF policy, the spirit of the IDF, and not these shameful fo photos that were posted by a released soldier who, if she were in active duty, I would imagine that she would be court-martialed right away. <laughs> I think that the pictures uh, of that female soldier, Israeli soldier, uh, is a typical uh, example of how uh, the Israeli army uh, and the Israeli occupation is about humiliating and oppressing the Palestinian people. But also it's an example uh, that shows that the Israeli occupation also corrupts the Israelis.